So it was Cap 21 earlier today. We also want to remind you before they go up, if you want to see more of these aircraft and talk to the uh, New Jersey Pine Barrens about the aircraft, how to fly, how to get involved, they have a tent set up which is located at the back of show center, at the back of the uh, spectator area, uh, immediately opposite the uh, Thunderbird F-16s that are parked at show center. Now, Eric, what is the uh, the dues for AMA per year, annual due? Uh, well, to be an AMA member as a, uh, an adult is $58. As youth, under 19 years old, it's totally free. Uh, AMA has educational programs. Clubs love to bring uh, young people in, teach them about model aviation, and we even have scholarship programs. Now, also, if you are an AMA member, correct me if I'm wrong, is you are covered by an insurance policy being an AMA, AMA member. Absolutely. Every AMA member is covered by an insurance policy, as are our clubs, and there are flying sites where we fly our model aircraft. That is really good because sometimes batteries go dead and guys don't know it and you lose your airplane, it's going to go into somebody's backyard break a window or something. It happens, but you know, you'll notice that these gentlemen are flying in front of themselves, which is part of our flying safety protocols. We have a very strict set of protocols called the National Model Aircraft Safety Code. We always fly by that, and uh, I dare say that model aviation is the safest form of aviation there is with a great record. Well, what is the weight limit? On RC aircraft out there right now. The weight, AMA. the weight limit is 55 pounds, but that tends to be the upper end. Most aircraft you see, that you'll see today that are flying out there, the tops is probably going to be about 15 to 18 pounds. Uh, generally, at the f flying field, it'll be about 10 pounds or less. And you can see they can hover. They can. They can, and they do a little known as uh, 3D maneuvers. Uh, they'll, they'll twirl, they'll loop, and they'll do unusual, unusual maneuvers hanging on the propeller. Yeah, you can see the wing on it. Hang on, HG 111. That, that is the 111. I noticed that now. You see the wing platform of the aircraft. And the P 51. It's a mini B of Andrew McKenna out there flying today. It is. It's a bit windy, but you see these, these gentlemen have no problem attacking the wind. They're quite used to it. It's part of the challenge of becoming an accomplished model aircraft aviator. Yeah, they're not so bad airs. We get back on down the ground. When you got an airplane that'll fly at four mile an hour, and you got a ten mile an hour wind. It's kind of tough to get it back down to the ground. It can be. It can be. But they do it. Uh, they may land at about two miles an hour forward speed, but they will get them down. Now, what's here that there's a big event next week or this week coming up down here? Was it South Carolina? In South Carolina, it's called the Joe Now. That's going to be an enormous event. Uh, if you're ever in South Carolina this time of year, you ought to try to go. There's going to be over 1,000 pilots and their aircraft at Joe Now. You know, we don't want to forget about what's happening on the right side of Show Center. Uh, we have a couple of aircraft flying over there. We have some helicopters, which are flown by the Graham brothers, uh, Matt and Chad. I think the P-51 just shot down the vehicle. Well, he, had, he had guns ready on that one. I saw that pants. He had him in his gun sight. That's realism to World War II, I believe. I think the Hankel may be shooting an approach very slowly, or he's just attacking the wind. I think that's, that's the hover land. And it's the hover land. And he's got it down. And let me tell you, folks, that's very windy. Is there any limitation to doing AMA on horsepower of a, of a RC aircraft out there right now? Well, we limit the, uh, the weight. The size. Uh, they're very safety conscious. That's the, the number one priority in model aviation safety. Uh, AMA celebrated 75 years about two or three years ago. It started in 1936. In fact, model aviation is older than full scale aviation, believe it or not. Because they had to design the models before they could design full scale aircraft. These were the prototypes. They were. I know the electronics over the years have come a long way, especially in transmitters and receivers. I mean, the frequency range they've come down to now with the 2.4 megahertz, it's just, you can put up any number of airplanes at the same time. Yes, you can. With the, with the radios. Yeah, back in the old days, it was really a funny situation. We had frequency pins and you had different colored frequencies, and you wanted to be careful not to, what we call, shoot down the other guy and fly on this frequency, but we brought that all that solves today with modern electronics, and we fly on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz frequency, which is much like your, uh, your home uh, wireless telephone or your uh, home Wi-Fi system at, at home. 
I know a lot of these airplanes like you said have come up through electric age with electric motors and airplanes with the battery power, the lipo battery, light polymer batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries. Come so far, lipo is more than nickel metal. We're gonna capture guys around, but we've come so far with these electronics and the batteries. Electric seems to be the way to go. You don't have to clean up after it anymore. It is. You know, you don't have that slime to go. That's, That's right. And it's a lot of fun. But these guys have had a lot of fun flying with you. And